Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us on another episode of Construction Week's Expert Interview Series. We've been talking to experts within the region's built environment on the top trends, challenges, disruptions, and how we can improve the industry. Today, we're joined by Chandra Dake, the Executive Chairman and Group CEO of Dake Group, who will be talking to us about the use of breathable magic sand in construction and urban architecture, the importance of rainwater harvesting and construction material that can improve landscaping and enhance water security in the region. To get the show started, thank you, Chandra, for joining us here today. Thank you for inviting me and having me here. It's a pleasure to have you on the show with us, Chandra. Could you give us a quick overview of Dake Rex Sand's breathable magic sand? What gap does it address in the construction sector, especially in terms of urban architecture? Sure, I'll do that. Dake Rex Sand has got multiple products. The basic premises of all of our products is the breathability. In the urban architecture, we play in two segments. One is in the landscape environment to turn the landscape into green with less water. And the other one is conserving the rainwater and storing the, storing the rainwater. Those are the two elements we work in the urban infrastructure. In a region where water is such a scarce resource, could you briefly share your thoughts on the importance of rainwater harvesting how vital has it become to improve the construction material that we're using in pavements and curbstones to enhance the water security? We almost had about 238 cloud seedings in 2019. And in 2020, we've already crossed more than 30. So the cloud seeding success, as the success has been improving, we are getting more rain. But what, are, what is happening to all of that rain Either it is creating a flooding and then water is being sucked out and uh, drained out or it is falling on the desert area and that water is not being utilized at all. So if you are able to harvest all of that water, now there is an abundant rain. If we can create a water storage systems at different places. Now, with our technology, if we are able to harvest all of that water without disturbing the existing infrastructure with very limited in, uh, infrastructure changes, it will lead to a new water source. As Day Crack said, we have a curb stones which can absorb the water. With, uh, and then you can have a center, um, in decentralized storage closer to the roads mm -hmm. where you can store all of the water which is harvested within that zone and that water can be used for a very long period. It, it doesn't have to be used within the next one week, next 10 days, because our water storage system can keep the water fresh for more than seven years, not one or two days. I think this brings us to an interesting talking point. In Dubai and across the Middle East, a large amount of water is used, like you said, in beautification projects, in urban landscaping projects. How can water usage for irrigation be reduced especially given the region's high evaporation rate. Could you share details of the deployment of the magic sand at Al Abjan Farms in Abu Dhabi, for example? One of the uh, technology we have is a breathable sand, but water retaining sand. Mm -hmm. that, is the, that is the technology we use for plants and growing vegetation in this region. It can hold the water for a longer duration. So with a limited amount of water, um, the plants can take enough of them and the evaporation only happens at the top two centimeters of the soil. Mm -hmm. So there is a less loss of water to the evaporation and plant gets more water because the water is retained and doesn't go into, into the ground, ground level. Mm -hmm. What we have observed by implementing it in the al Ajban farms where we have grown um, commercial crops for the food security as well, but the same can be witnessed or uh, take the example can be seen here. We have grown fruit trees, lemon orchards with watering only once a week in the winter season and once in three days in the summer season. With the summer heat almost touching close to 45, 46 degrees here, the plants all have survived and uh, they, are actually, they have actually turned much, much greener as well. And the same thing in the urban atmosphere, in the villas where, where it has been used, 
The watering has only been done for two minutes a day. Uh, again, all the plants, different tropical plants are able to be grown in this region, which is, which is slightly difficult with less water. We have seen a lot of focus has been placed on the construction of desalination plants in the Middle East. Do you see a better way for the UAE to meet its green goals and achieve its water strategy in 2036, apart from depending on desalination plants? A rain of one inch over 2,000 square meters can lead to about 100,000 liters of, of water storage. Mm -hmm. So if we can effectively harvest this rain, we can create a huge amount of water available and it can become a new water source. Um, notably, this, I mean, the water storage system can, can be as small as a 5,000 gallon facility, which is a very small one, versus it can be as 100,000 cubic meters. Nice. The largest, the largest uh, water, uh, water storage capacity being built is 100,000 cubic meters. And uh, usual uh, water storage uh, for a urban flooding, uh, flooding eradication is about 10 cubic meters. Uh, because in the desalination plants, bulk of the money goes towards the storage facility. If we can build this one, it will eliminate quite a lot of costs in terms of uh, infrastructure. That's fair. It was great talking to you and learning from you, Chandra. Thanks for taking the time to share your insights with us today. It was great having you on the show. Thank you so much, Anoop. I appreciate, I appreciate the time. And uh, from the Construction Week, we wish you all the best. Thank you. For those of you watching, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more such videos with experts in the industry. That's all for now. And until next time, goodbye. Thank you.